I picked up this NES console at a flea market. Uh, it's, it works just fine. The only problem it has is the game tray will not lock down intermittently. You gotta mess with it to get it there, it went, to get it to lock down. So I'm gonna open it up and figure out what the heck's going on with it. Okay, I've got the main shell part. Now I need to take off this RF shielding here. There are some mounting screws right over in here. I have to take off to remove this to get to the tray. Okay, now I've got the RF shielding off. I'm going to take the game tray off now and find out why it doesn't lock down. Alright, I've got the game tray out. You can see the little mechanism up in there. It's a little pin that locks it into place and what's happening. You can't really see it because my camera won't focus. Is it supposed to click over to lock it down and it's not doing it unless I really force it. There it went. You can see it clicked over. So I'm going to bend that pin up just a little bit to get it to start working again. For while I got this apart, I'm going to go ahead and install a new 72 pin connector in this unit. There we go. Bring the old one. And bring in the new one. Alright, whoops. Got lined up. The tricky part. There we go. Alright. Now we got a new 72 pin connector in here now. Okay, got the game tray put back in. One thing we'll be aware of putting in the game tray, if you look right down inside of here next to that vertical shaft, you see a little bit of a tab going underneath the circuit board right there. You gotta get that underneath there, otherwise the game tray will not sit flush and it can bind up your uh, your mechanism. Okay, I got the game tray screwed back down. Now it locks every time. Alright, it's all back together. Let's give it a try. Oh, locked down perfect. And everything works. Everything's fine.